Hi everybody, it's Stephen Aitchison here. Listen, I just wanted to do a quick video to let you know kind of what's been happening over the last week or so. Now, you probably know over the last couple of months I've been kind of swithering what to do kind of with crypto. And the last crash was the last straw for me, to be honest. Um, so everything kind of went tits up. I was doing really well and the trading was going well and the group was going well. The group is still going well. The group is um, going brilliant. Um, but <clears throat> there's a couple of things I've noticed over the last couple of years and you know I've got two sides of the business I've got the personal development side and teaching business owners how to grow their social media presence so I've got that side and I've got the crypto side as well now what I noticed over the last couple of years in crypto I totally love crypto I love everything about it I love the ethos of it I love researching it I love the trading of it as well but it is totally and utterly emotionally draining. When you kind of come in and you're waking up and you're kind of worried about what's going to be happening with Bitcoin, is the price going to go down, is your alts going to go down, are you going to lose it? Uh, and I didn't realise kind of what I was thinking um, kind of over the last couple of years until the other day or until the 12th of March, 11th, 12th of March when everything crashed again. Um, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough of kind of trading. So and I decided, and I have been trying to think over the last couple of months, because I've been so drained and so emotionally drained with crypto, just kind of trading it in and out, uh, and the responsibility of kind of helping others to kind of trade it um, as well. But, and I decided to leave crypto. Well, not altogether, so it's not, it's not a lie. The plan is for the future, for me, is to... Um, I still think we're going to go down. I still think Bitcoin is going to go down and Ethereum is going to go down um, as well. Probably all the alts um, as well. I still think we've got one last leg down before we're coming back up. We can't not do that because of what's happening in the economy just now. We cannot not kind of fall again It's because the stock market is going to implode. It has to. Uh, and it's going to bring Bitcoin and Ethereum down with it, but then it's going to come back up again. I don't think we've seen the bottom yet. Well, I probably think we've seen a bottom, maybe 3,800, maybe round about there. I think we could fall to that again before coming back up. So the plan is to just um, invest heavily into that, the pension kind of fund, into Ethereum, mainly Ethereum, and then Bitcoin, and then the likes of Coty, then DAG, and a few others that I've mentioned over the last couple of months as well, uh, and just put money into those um, as well, and just keep it. Just keep it for the long term. If they fall by the wayside, then they fall by the wayside. Just let the chips fall where they're going to fall. So that's the plan for me. But because of the kind of emotional and the energy draining kind of, kind of sucks you when this kind of happens, you know it's being manipulated and you kind of trade the manipulation as well. You're not trading um, an open market. You're trading the, a manipulated market. And that's fine. I kind of knew that anyway. Um, but because of the ups and downs and the emotionality of that as well, that has been really tough. Um, to keep in check and that's why I think long-term investing is going to be much much better so I can just leave it and just check on it once a month once every couple of months or probably no me I'll probably check it once probably more than once a week but it's not going to be every minute of the day and it consuming my whole energy it's not going to be like that at all um, what I should have done from the very start and I've kind of made a mistake now is look for those kind of hidden gems from the very start and start researching the hidden gems. However, even that's changed over the last couple of years. I have kind of modified the way of research hidden gems and modified the criteria for hidden gems as well. So had I done that at the very start, and I did kind of do it with Bab and um, a couple of others as well. You know what happened with them. And Bab's still in play, I know, um, but uh, I'm not kind of sh shouting it down or anything. I'm just saying, we know kind of what happened with Bab and the kind of everything, the saga that went on. Hopefully it rises from the ashes, but we'll see. Uh, and a couple of others as well that kind of looked really good. And I thought these are hidden gems and they kind of fell by the wayside as well. So even that kind of didn't work, but I kind of modified that. And I should have um, really done that from the very beginning and started a premium group that way. However, having said that, I'm not going to leave totally. Um, I'm just going to stay in the background totally, but I'm going to stop the CYT Crypto um, channel on YouTube. Uh, I've got another channel that I'll be doing personal development and business on. If you want to follow that, it's totally up to you. 
Uh, I'll leave a link down below. And I will stop the premium group or cancel everybody's subscriptions over the next couple of days. If you paid within the, next, the last couple of days, I'll kind of refund you as well. And I'll keep the groups open if you want to stay in there because there's some amazing people in there as well um, that are really good with everything. They're really good with them. Um, kind of just what they're doing with the trading, with the research, with looking at the kind of hidden gems as well. So I would urge you to stay in the group, but there's other groups out there as well. Jimbo's got his own group um, as well. You know about that. That's still trading as well. Um, but I think we've got a, a, a brilliant group of people in there as well. So if you want to stay in there, I'm going to keep it open. I'll still be um, the admin as well. Still keep it open and I'll, I'll nip in from time to time as well. So I'm not totally disappearing. Um, but I will be stopping the kind of premium group and focusing more on writing. So the plan was for me to start writing books when I was 55, but I'm going to do it earlier. I'm going to do it from this year. And I think now is the right time um, and get that energy back up, get that kind of enthusiasm and the passion and the drive again back up for helping people. When you're trading, um, it's a different way of helping or those kind of trying to help you trade better as well uh, and trying to help you make better trading decisions as well. It's a different type of energy because you're always thinking about money and when you're always thinking about money, it totally drains you. But when you're thinking about helping people, it totally kind of gives you more energy. So um, that's my thinking from now on. That's going to be where my energy lies in writing non-fiction books and kind of fiction books as well. I'm going to be doing that this year and I'll be doing the business side of it, helping people with their social media presence, especially now businesses need that more than ever. And I've got a program already. I just need to revamp it and I'll do that. But as I said, I'm still going to stay in crypto. I'd like to thank a few people. Um, obviously, all the admins that have been with me over the last couple of years have been amazing. We've got Kim, Mike, James, Adeb, Rob, Jimbo, Sean, and David Dave um, as well. They were kind of not been in for a while, um, Sean and David Dave. But Kim, Mike, James, Adeb, Rob, and Jimbo um, have been just brilliant over the last couple of years um, and managing the groups. Um, so a huge, huge shout out um, to all of you as well. You've been amazing. And the premium group members as well. You've been outstanding. I'm going to obviously keep in touch with a lot of you as well. Um, I think I've made some good friendships um, as well from some some of the members in the premium group. Um, but this, this is kind of sad as well. And that's why I took a week off. I thought, is this really what I want to do? Do I want to kind of stop the crypto altogether? And the answer is no, I don't want to stop altogether, but I want to um, stop reporting on it every day and kind of looking at it and it consume my, consuming my energy every minute of the day as well. That's the part I want to stop. Uh, I still believe in crypto, I still believe in the ethos of crypto, I still believe in a lot of the projects out there as well, especially Ethereum um, and Bitcoin as well. Ethereum first, Bitcoin next, and some brilliant um, projects out there as well, bigger and smaller ones. So, um, yeah, it's kind of sad because I've been with you for a couple of years, every day for a couple of years now. I'm only had a couple of weeks off, I think. Um, so it is really, really quite sad. Obviously, it's a loss of income for me as well. So that was another big kind of major decision as well as a loss of income um, because the premium group will no longer be open. So uh, it's back to kind of doing the business and personal development business and kind of writing books and hoping that brings in income obviously the speaking gigs from the writing of the books um, as well I'll put a link to the books or the book the first book The Belief Principle that's coming out at the end of this month so I'll be doing live shows on Facebook again talking about the kind of books as well but teaching about um, the kind of lessons in the book as well so that's it that's it just now it is really quite sad um, to be honest but that was the last straw. It really was the last straw um, when the, the last crash kind of came. And just kind of a couple of mistakes I've made over the years as well. You just go, Phew. not cut out for this, um, possibly. But there you go. It's been it's been a ride. It's been a roller coaster ride. Um, but at least I'm not down. I, I'm not down over the last couple of years. I've been up, been way down, been up again and way down and this this was the last kind of crash 
Um, it's probably, probably a brilliant time to get in as well. I still think there's going to be one more kind of big drop um, and probably that'll be the best time to get in. Then just keep hold and that'll be it. Yeah, so the likes of Cote, I really like Cote. Uh, and Dag, um, still like them as well. And we've got CHR that I've done, I've done the videos on. You can go and check the videos as well. But that's it. End of an era. Um, it's been a roller coaster ride, and I want to thank every single one of you for the support and kind of um, just being there every day when I've been doing the lives and stuff like that. So, huge thank you um, to you, and I really appreciate you, and I really can appreciate the friendship as well over the last couple of years. And as I said, no doubt I'll be staying in touch with a lot of you as well. Um, so, that's it. I don't know what to say from here. Uh, except thank you and until next time namaste take care bye now